Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Taryn Michael Mai. Today we are going to do a really different look. It's going to be really fun and it's going to be kind of avant-garde, so very creative, not your usual everyday makeup. There is this contest going on. We do my monthly contest at the school. I graduated from the beauty school. And the theme is like back away from summer blues. So summer's leaving and we're sad about it. So it's very young um, blue themed and creative. So I thought while I do enter the contest and really I'm just, you know, doing it for fun, that I will film a avant-garde makeup tutorial. And maybe you can use it, you know, how long it'll be coming up soon. And maybe you'll just pull any kind of inspiration out of it. So, let's get started. I'm just moving those in. I just put my hair back. I start for the crazy hair. I'm just leaving it natural. So, we're not going to do a natural brow color because as I said, we are doing avant-garde. So, we're going to get a little fun with this. And we're going to go in with this really pretty aqua gel liner from Makeup Forever. Um, I shaved the name off because I used it so many times. But we're going to go in with this and we're going to make our brows blue today. So business as usual with the brows, we're just going in here. Now the cool thing about this is usually I'll probably do a brow block or Blind my brows, not with dye, but I would blind my brows with like some kind of color to make them lighter, but I'm okay with blue black brows. And it's okay for it to be messy right now because what we're going to do is go ahead and clean it up with our concealer like we always do. And this is where you can get dramatic as you want with your brows. This is a very creamy product, very pigmented. So a little does go a long way, as you can see if you're looking at the base of what I have started. It's already a blue eyebrow. And I didn't have to do a lot. I didn't have to tint or shade it or anything like that. Or like I said, make it brown, blonde, sorry about that, or block it to get this pigment payoff. And that's what happens when you use good product. And we're just using the other brow here. And when you're doing avant-garde makeup, the fun thing about that is symmetry does not have to be in the picture anymore. This is not a glam look like beauty or anything we're doing everyday prom makeup. You can get asymmetrical with avant-garde makeup. It actually makes it more interesting. I'm going to use Maybelline's True Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to go under and above my brows and I'm going to do some cleaning up. It's a nice flat synthetic brush so you can do a lot with this, especially when you're doing something like avant-garde, it can get a little bit messy. And these brushes are super easy to clean and they're really good on heavy duty products like if you're using paints or face paints or um, theater makeup, that is what Krylon is for and this brush is perfect for that. And look how easily it's just cleaning everything up for my brows, don't worry about this, we're doing foundation, we're not even going to focus on anything else at the moment but getting these brows perfected.
Okay, so moving on, we're going to go on to foundation. We're going to start by concealing as usual. I'm also going to use that Make Me Fit Me Concealer. It is in sand. And usually I do use a salmon color, but I'm going a little bit lighter for this look. I use salmon to um, color correct the darkness under my eyes and in green. Like you've seen in my previous videos, to neutralize that redness around my nose. Today we're just going to focus on highlighting. So we're going in with our wand here. And we're just going to go right under and conceal. Business as usual there. Dab back into that. I am running low, so this is the reason I'm going back into here. You wouldn't usually have to if this was a full tube. You only want to conceal where needed because you can go in with powders and highlight or cream over. You don't need to put concealer all over your face. And I'm going to take that same damp beauty blender here and we're just going to blend that out. Looking like Mama Smurf right now. I'm just blending under the eyes. Blend that out real good. All right, and now that we have our concealer blended out, we're going to go in. We're going to use the foundation, one of my favorites. It's water-based makeup, and it also has coconut water in it. This is Born This Way by Too Faced. This is also in the color Sand. And I'm just going to dab a little bit here on my hand. And as I said, since I'm doing makeup on myself, this is fine. If I was working on a client, I would put it on a metal sanitized pan, not on my hand. But this is me, so we're okay. I'm going to take our beauty blender. And we're just going to dot up our foundation here before we blend it. Give ourselves a base down before the real fun begins with this makeup look. Single word you 
Okay, so now we, we got our foundation set and we're baking under our eyes. We are going to move on here to our eyes. And let me just pull my hair back so you can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry guys, I know it's wild and crazy. Okay, so we're gonna go in with our Lorac. I'm sorry I use it so much that the labeling is off, but we're gonna go with our Lorac Pro Eyeshadow Primer. We're gonna prime our eyelids. I'm going to do some different things today with this makeup. I'm going to do more with the eyebrows as well, but let me prime my lids first. This is a wonderful base. It keeps my makeup on my eyelids all day without that creasing. It dries really fast. It dries clear. Go back in and go on the other lid. I do have my eyeshadow base down with the Rock Pro. We are going to do a little bit of graphic liner around the eyebrows before we do start on the lids. And we're going to go in with one of my favorites, Girlactic Beauty. And this is their eyeliner. This one is the Precise Eyeliner Marker. It is amazing. And we're just going to go in and get a little bit creative. And as you can see, it's really, really thin, so you can draw and do all kinds of things with it. So instead of our wing liner with this, we're going to go in and do some etching and sketch in here. Now this is where you don't have to worry about being symmetrical. I'm just making weird marks. I kind of just want an idea of something I just want to do different here around these brows. Okay, so now that we do have our graphic liner around the brows, I'm going to go and start my eye look. So first thing I'm going to do is go into my Oprah Cosmetics um, Pro Palette. It's like a Z palette, but for Oprah. And we're just going to go and get some neutral tone colors and go under the brow bone to set some transition shades down. So I'm just gonna go in with my Sonia Kashuk, my favorite. And we're gonna pick up this color here. It is one of the colors that came with the palette. I'm just gonna go right under that brow bone. And I'm just slightly blending that out here. Move my hair out the way for you. Okay, let me get this big old bouffant out of the way. Just push it on over yonder. Tap some of that excess off. Now I'm going to keep it matte under here because I do want this graphic liner to shine. So just under the brow bone. Usually I put a little bit of shimmer, shimmer under there. So we're just going to keep that. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Just a little bit around like a wash of coat here as a base. Okay, now this is where we are going to get a little bit interesting. I am going to go in with the Color Tattoo 24 Hour Hold. This is Maybelline's um, Leather Cure. I haven't used these in a really long time, but I literally love them. They're so good. This one is leather, and it's just all black. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and put that on our lid. 
And first I'm gonna place it with my finger. We'll blend it out. And it's very, very creamy and very, very black, which is what I want for what I'm trying to do with my eye look. And I'm just gonna place it first with my fingers and it will take that brush we used earlier to blend it out, that Krylon brush. And I'm just gonna go right here on my lids and place it really quickly. And this doesn't have to be perfect at the moment. We just wanna base down. So we're gonna move on to the 24 hour color tattoo. This one is Tenacious Teal and it's really pretty, vivid teal color. And again, I'm just gonna go in with my finger and I'm gonna put it right along the center of my eyelid. So remember, it's, we have the blues for summer being over. So everything wants to be blue and vivid and just show our anguish of summer being over, but I'm a fall lover, so this is all fun. So just take that glue on your finger and just go on right on the lid. Right on the lid there, pop it right in the center. Really get your pigment payoff. Right on the center there. So we're gonna take that same Morphe brush we had from earlier and dip into our tenacious teal. We're gonna go right under that lower lash line. Same thing in the center. And just along, just along it. We're gonna go into the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. We're gonna go right into Vega here, and we're gonna put that right on the lid with a flat applicator brush. And because I want some real intensity, I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever. I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix, and I am running low, so instead of spraying it, I'm just gonna take my brush and dip it right in here and get some wetness going on my brush there because I wanna intensify the shimmer on my lids. We want all the drama we can get for this look and all the beautiful blues we can get for this look. So I'm just dipping it right into that pressed glitter in the Moon Dust palette. As you can see, it's nice and wet. And we're gonna go right on the center of the lens where we put that tenacious teal down. And we're just adding that drama, adding that white look. And please don't be afraid to get creative with makeup, guys. It comes off. You don't have to walk around with it on all the time. And notice if you're somebody who really loves makeup, look around at what's going on on the runways, guys. It's some crazy stuff. And it's art. That's what it's supposed to be. Express yourself. That's what it's for. And as you can see with this, I'm actually dragging it out to the top half of that outer V. So now we're dispersing that blue on more areas. And it actually is making like a blue plum, and I'm really loving that. And this is not where it stops with blue, guys. And you see that's nice and wet. We want that. We want it to look like that. Okay, and we're going to actually go under the lower lid with a galaxy. It's more of a silver blue. Just gonna take the other end, and I have some uh, paper towel laid down here. So what I can do is just go ahead and wipe that off, and I have a cleaner slate with my brush. And because we're not working on a client, I do not have to worry right now about thoroughly cleaning this because I'm just gonna go in, in my own palette and use it on my own face. If we were working on clients, guys, what we want to do is clean that brush, and we want to sanitize before we dip back into a product, especially when you're doing open cavities like eyes and noses. But we're just going back in with the mist and fix. 
and we're going into Galaxy in that same Moon Dust palette by Urban Decay and I'm really loving it. This is so multi-purpose. And we're just going right under the center of the lid, the lower lash line, the lower lid. And we're just dispersing that color galaxy right along. And I'm just loving the products they're coming out with that are really glittery now these days because you can just do so much more and so much creativity. And we're just going right out there. Now do not forget about that center crease because what we're also going to do, now that we have our blue where we want it, here on our eyes, so we're gonna go on those inner corners, those tear ducts, and we're gonna go in with granite from Moon Dust. Go back in with our Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. We want it just as wet and creamy as the other pigments here. And we're gonna smooth that right over to the inner corner. Corner, <laughs> Medea. The inner corner. I'm gonna take that gunmetal silver and we're gonna go right here, right in our tear ducts. Pull it down a little bit into the blue. Then pull it into it. This don't want any harsh lines, even with glitter. We want to pull it in. Inward. And if you want to add some of that where the black is left around it, go ahead and more color. Deepen it up. Make it your own. So now that we have our eyeshadow and our shape down, we're going to go into some contouring. We're actually going to keep it pretty simple with the contouring here. So I'm just going to go in. And I'm actually going to use the brush I usually do to wipe away my fallout. Just going in with the same palette I always use. I'm going to slash you a bit with those contour kit. And I'm just going to do a slight contour and touch up here. And I'm just going up. And because I am using a bigger brush, it's gonna be a different shape and contour, which is fine. And we're doing something like avant card, and we're just gonna go along the forehead just a little bit with that. Okay, so we have our contour down. We're gonna do something a little bit different for the highlight today. We want it to be very celestial and iridescent. So I brought my product. I love my Krylon Illusion Creams. If you keep up with me on Instagram, you will see that I use them almost every day. And I went and picked up Silk. So I usually use Cashmere. So I usually use Cashmere. And today we have the more iridescent white cream based. And we're going to go in with Silk. And we're just going to use Silk as a base, but on its own, it is a beautiful cream highlighter. But I will show you why we are putting it down as a base, because we really want to shimmer and get that blue going. So we're going right here on the highest points of our cheeks. Notice I did not do blush. We're not going to do blush today. We're going to keep that simple contour. And we're just going along on the high points of our cheeks. And we're just rubbing that in, placing it. We're going to do our tip of our nose. The bridge of our nose, we're gonna go down. Don't worry about how it looks right now because we're gonna cover that up with some shimmer. I did my cupid's bow, and we're going back over here on the other side of our face, highest points of our cheek, and we're just laying down that cream base. Okay. So now that we have our cream base laid down, we are actually going to go in with a loose powder for our highlighter instead of a regular highlighter color. And in true form of this video, of course, it is blue. And I'm going to pull it out. This is going to be 
Number 117, this is an Inglat loose pigment. Inglat is an amazing company. You should definitely check them out if you don't know anything about Inglat. The brand is amazing. So I'm actually just gonna pour a little bit of this pop right into the lid, right into the top of the lid here. And we're going to take our fan brush here and we are just gonna go in and highlight to the glowing blue dots. Take that excess off, guys. And just blend. Blend up. Can you see how that looks? That's what we want. We want it to be really intense for this kind of makeup. You can blend it out more if that's what you prefer. But we definitely want this blue, crazy, iridescent look. Bridge my nose. I'm just going to take the excess that I have and just go lightly bridging my nose like a highlight. And I'm gonna go up. And just blend that. Since it's placed right on that cream, it's gonna stay right in place. Looking like a little blue alien. Like I said, this would be really fun if you're doing some like high fashion kind of stuff, or you're doing some Halloween crazy avant-garde, but maybe you just want a cool photo. So we do have it placed here. We're gonna go um, in with our big Sonia Kashuk brush here, and we're just gonna blend it. We are actually going to create some blue tears, and what we're gonna do for that, to do that, is we're gonna go in with one of my favorite products from MAC Cosmetics, and it is Max mixing medium and what we're going to do is just take some of that out and we're going to mix it with some blue glitter also from mac it's a loose pigment yet another loose pigment that i have and i'm just going to do the same thing so i really want to go in with this really pretty true blue glitter and this is from their holiday pack that they had. I got every color. It's their Irresistibly Charming Glitters, and this is the blue one. And we're just gonna go in with that smaller brush. We have. Actually, we're not gonna go in with a smaller brush. No, yes we are. We're gonna go in with our smaller blending brush, the one we had earlier that we used to blend our 24 hour tattoo. And we're gonna place with my sponge brush here, this angle, don't mind it being messy, it's gonna be messy anyway. And so what we're gonna do is take this top off here. And we're going to pour it into the mixing medium lid, actually, just a little bit. And you see, I just did the littlest bit here. And we are going to take that mixing medium's top off. And we're going to dip right into it with our brush. Dip right into it. Again, if you were using this on a client or maybe you were on set doing something, scoop it out. Scoop it out and put it on a metal pan. Do not dip your brush directly in any product for a client. So now that we got it nice and sticky, I'm just gonna take my hands and shape it how I want it. Wipe the excess off on my paper towel here. And I'm dipping that into that blue glitter. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna make some glitter tears. And you can drag them down, trickle them down, make dots. Whatever you need to do, we're just going to make it look like we are devastated summer is ending. Lipstick, and we are going in with 
Lisa, the Jeffree Star Velvet Velour Liquid Lipsticks. These are all the blue additions that he made and I do have every freaking color because I love Jeffree Star and I love his makeup. And we are gonna first go in, we're gonna do like an ombre effect. And we are going to go in with the beauties. It's the darkest blue of the collection that he has. Just shake it, shake it up. Shake it up now that we are blue crying, cry babies. Shake it up. And we're just gonna apply it. This is like a purple blue, almost like a black blue. And we're just gonna apply it on our lips here. Now that we have our base colored down, we're just gonna let this dry for like a minute or less and we're gonna go over. I'm thinking we should go over with blue velvet. We're just gonna let this dry. You can help it along with a little hand fan if you want. And we're just gonna go right in with blue velvet. You know what? We're gonna go in with drop right here. Let me see. See which one I prefer. Jawbreaker or blue velvet? Mom of truth. Well, why don't we try jawbreaker and see what we come up with? We're gonna have fun. I'm just gonna do some ombre. <laughs> This is the finished look. I did go and pop on some lashes from I Love Me Lashes here. And these are Ronelli. I'll show you. And they're really lightweight and really pretty. And their lashes are super affordable. They're like a dollar and some change. As you can see, I am back on my MacBook here. My camera did die as I was filming, but we did get through the entire avant-garde look. And I'll just give you a close-up of everything again, and I will have some pictures. Um, don't mind the Medusa hair. The um, more humid it gets, the bigger my hair gets, the curlier my hair gets. But I guess it is very fitting for this style. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. It is just for fun, and like I said, to enter my school's contest just for a little fun. The back to school blues or bye bye summer blues. I cannot remember the exact text of it. But Halloween is right around the corner, so you can definitely do masquerade looks and add texture, do avant garde, anything. Have fun. Maybe you're going to a party where it's makeup, costume, anything. And just enjoy makeup. It's art. You can wash all of this off and have your natural skin and your face back. You don't have to sleep with this on, anything. Just explore your creativity if you like makeup and just have fun with it. I know I always do. I always have a good time with my makeup, but again, this is just my um, Bye Bye Summer Blues, I Find Guard Makeup, the Crying Blue Goddess. She's so upset because we are saying goodbye to the summertime, but again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Goodbye.